Yo, hello, my name is Wes Bam and welcome to another 10 minute loop. In today's Cinema 4D tutorial, I will show you how to make this abstract looking object loop. It is basically a camera moving through a sweeped helix. And the good news about this tutorial, we can do it all within 10 minutes. So let's hop into Cinema 4D and let's get started. So we're gonna start with the helix. And I'm gonna change the height to exactly 1000 centimeters. And I want to remember this number for later, 1000. Okay, next I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, 100 by 100. And for the end angle, well, I'm gonna do 360 times, we can pick any number we want, but we have to be sure it's a multiplier of 360 degrees. So I pick six for now. And here we got our helix. Next, I'm gonna simply sweep this helix with the circle. And of course, I need to modify the radius of my circle. So let's make this one 10. And next, I'm gonna make a displacer. Now we can either put everything in a null object or I can simply place a displacer inside my sweep, but at the end. And now this is also working. Now let's go to the displacer, go to the shading tab and add a noise. Now here we can modify our noise. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I only got 10 minutes. But this noise together with the displacement height is what will make the look of our final render. You might want to increase this, just play with this, it's just an example. I'm going to make a subdivision surface, so I can put that in here. And now everything is a bit more smooth. Next I'm going to create a cloner, and I'm going to drag my subdivision surface in here. And for the cloner, I don't want to clone on the y-axis, I want to clone on the z-axis. And my helix is a thousand, so I'm going to clone a thousand. And while I'm here, I'm going to go to the sweep, and I'm going to disable my caps, because I really don't need caps. They can only mess stuff up. And here we build our final object. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a camera. I go to the coordinates tab and I make everything zero. And if I now look through my camera, I'm inside my helix. Okay, cool, but not very special. So let's make it special. Click on your camera, go to the details tab, and here we have near clipping and far clipping. Now, if I enable far clipping, nothing changed. And if I set far clipping to one centimeter, my entire helix is gone. So let's drag up our value until we start seeing our helix again. Maybe something like this. And now I can change my near clipping to make the beginning parts disappear. So watch this magic. So all I have to do now is go to my camera, go to my coordinate step, make a keyframe on the Z position. I'm gonna double click my keyframe over here and I'm gonna set it to linear. Next, I need a few more frames. So uh, 240 for eight seconds, because I'm doing 30 frames per second. I'm gonna jump to the end of my animation, go back to my camera, go to 1000, make another keyframe, double click your keyframe and set it to linear as well. And now I'm at the end of my animation and I'm at the beginning. And as you can see, we got this perfect loop now. So we can press play and we can see what we have. So all we have to do now is make a texture and render it out. Now for my texture, I'm just gonna simply enable luminance and give it a little fresnel and here we can colorize it if we want to so i'm feeling orangey today so i'm gonna make an orange i'm gonna drag in my black value a bit halfway there let's drag this on the cloner and let's render this out so now all we have to do is go to our render settings maybe add it a bit more anti-aliasing or even better put this at the physical renderer go to your save give it a name I'm gonna call it Helix Clipped. Go to your Output tab, render all the frames except the first one because that's uh, redundant. Maybe you can change your screen size while you're at it. 
And if I hit render now, we made our first 10 minute loop. Now, this is just a proof of concept. You can play with the displacer, you can try other shapes than the helix. But the trick to make this loop is to have the cloner clone in the same amount as we're gonna move the camera in Z space. So in this case, 1000. My name is Wes Bam. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.